Hey everybody, it's Mike here. Welcome. Well, today we are in Blender once again, and we're going to be talking about subdivision, right? Now, uh, in order to explain what subdivision is, uh, I think the best way is to just show you, right? And there are multiple methods in uh, Blender, and they're not all the same either. So, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll explain. Okay, so we've got a cube right here, okay? Now, if you go to edit mode, then you'll see that we have six faces on this cube. We've got top, we've got Hang on, face, yeah, we got top, we got bottom, and four sides, so six faces, yeah? Now, if I want to deform uh, this top face, for example, um, I can basically scale it, move it, rotate it, but the shape itself doesn't really change, right? Now, if I wanted to do that, I would have to subdivide. Now, how I can do that is go to edit mode, select one of the faces, and then right click and click on subdivide. And when I do that, the first level of subdivision is instead of one face, turn it into four. And down here in the bottom left corner, I have a subdivide little menu and I open that and you can see we're at one cut. So one cut here, one cut there, which gives us four faces. If I increase that to two, it will become, and I'll turn on wireframe mode, it will come nine and then it will go up and up and up. All right. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, because you want to change that shape, let's say, right? So with this selected this way, I'm going to go and grab one of these faces and I'm just going to move it up. And you can see that I now have a shape that wouldn't be possible if I just had one face on top, right? So that's one way of adding subdivision. So basically you could say, if you want to alter a shape, the more detailed the alteration will be, the more subdivision you would need, right? And you don't have to have a high dense subdivision all over your model. You can have it in certain regions, right? It's quite typical if you are, for example, modeling a character that the main body would have less subdivision. And for example, regions in the face around the eyes and mouth and so forth would have more subdivision. Um, two reasons. One, if you want to uh, shape them to have more detail. And second, if you want to animate them. So that's why that's important. Okay. So now that we have this method uh, covered, let's look at the next one, right? We're going to go back to our default. There you go. And what we're going to do is we're going to look at how to add edges manually. So here's the loop cut tool. And when you click on that, you can go in here and it will snap to the center, as you can see, right? And what you're going to do is you can actually turn that on, uh, but it doesn't really matter. You can click and it will place one right there. Now, let's say you don't want one in the middle, right? You click and hold and then you drag it. And you can see it's jumping in little steps. That's because that snap is on. And if I turn that off and I do it again and I hold it, now I can move it smoothly, right? So this is a manual way to add subdivision. Now, one thing to note, though, is when you add subdivision to this cube, it doesn't really change the overall shape of the cube itself. Now, there's another method in the Blender, uh, which is a subdivision modifier, which will actually do that. Okay, so the modifier. Well, how does that work? Well, right now we don't have any additional subdivision. We have um, zero levels, if you will. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure it's selected in object mode. We're gonna go to the little tool wrench right here. And we're gonna click on add modifier, go to generate, and then click on subdivision surface. As we do that, you'll see that it will change, right? And if I just jump to, let's say, this view right here, and I go to edit mode, and take my grease pencil, I can show you, right? So initially you had a situation where it was going from here to here to here, as you can see in the orange cube, right? And so basically this and this. If there were no vertex here at all, it would be going something like this. And since we added the subdivision, there's now a difference between this position and this position, and if you average that out, it's gonna be about here. So this is the new point for that subdivision. If we round it out again, right, adding a new subdivision, the point will probably be here, and it'll be one, two, three, and four. You get the idea, okay? At least I hope so. Anyway, we're gonna go back to object mode, right? And uh, let me actually just erase this. 
there you go so we're back in object mode and what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a level so uh, right here level says one if I go back it's zero one two and you can see as we move forward it gets smoother and smoother now you always need to be careful in your modeling process that you don't add too much subdivision and you don't add it too quickly uh, a lot of people that are new to 3D, they make the mistake of adding a lot of subdivision in the beginning of their process because they feel they got more control. The problem is it's actually the opposite. If you have a lot more uh, vertices to deal with, then you have a lot more vertices to deal with, right? So you want to uh, build that up in stages. You want to start low poly and work your way up to the detail you want. And that's what it's all about more subdivision will allow you to create more detail okay so yeah that's it for this video hopefully it all made a little bit of sense uh, thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed the video you know what to do hit that like hit that sub and i'll see you guys in the next one bye